Let's make lobster BLTs. The thing with lobster BLTs is there's almost no cooking, which makes it really easy. So I've got cooked lobster meat, which I actually have the seafood shop cook for me. I mean, you can cook your own, but that's like a whole big thing with big pots of water. And it's really worth it having them do it. So I'm just gonna cut it up in large pieces. Just kind of slice it. You should be able to buy cooked lobster meat pretty much anywhere. Okay, next I'm gonna make the dressing. It's my secret sauce. It's basically Thousand Island dressing. So I've got mayonnaise. And when I was in France, one of my favorite restaurants was called Frenchies to Go. The owner, Gregory Marchand, made some kind of a sandwich for us. It had the most delicious sauce. And I said to him, Gregory, what is this? And he said, Ina, it's Thousand Island dressing. And I thought, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Just seemed much more fancy when it was in France. So mayonnaise and ketchup and a little bit of relish, salt and pepper. I mean, everybody knows how to make this, right? And you can just find all the ingredients in your pantry and your fridge. But it's just great with lobster. Okay, so that's the sauce. Time to assemble the sandwiches. So I toasted the bread in the oven. Actually, 400 degrees, 10 minutes, so much easier than standing by the toaster and waiting for those things to pop up. And it's nice and crisp and it's perfect for the sandwich. So just do a little sauce on the bread. If you toast it, the sauce doesn't soak into the bread, so it's better. Leaf of bib lettuce, just a really tender lettuce. Right on top. Some avocado. What I did was peel these, slice them, and I tossed them in lemon juice to keep them from turning brown. One of the things I love about these sandwiches is I really do love that high-low thing, you know, like truffle mac and cheese or caviar on baked potatoes. I think lobster BLTs is definitely in that category. Some tomato. This is great for a summer lunch. So next is bacon. I actually roasted it in the oven, which is easier to do for a large amount. Then the lobster. This is enough for four sandwiches. And then a little more sauce right on top. And that is the lobster BLT. Now I'm gonna go make three more. Ta-da, that's for lobster BLTs. I'd say that's classic food updated, and I think one of these has my name on it. It is lunchtime sometime, right? That looks so good, wouldn't you say?